Word up, Georgia Japan here with more information from Wednesday's downtown. And today, we got a real interesting theory to talk about. The number one singer slash sportsman. Uh, this theory was introduced by Kendo Kobayashi, and his basis for the theory was, well, guys that can sing well, they get all the girls, and athletic sportsmen, they also get all the girls. So therefore, a sportsman who can sing well must be really attractive. Uh, this left the panel a little confused about what he wanted to do, but uh, trust me, it's, it's pretty interesting. Before I explain the event, I'm going to introduce the people competing, and I'll be giving a little more background information about them. First up, Razor Ramon HG. Yeah, I don't think I have to introduce him. His popularity and infamy is at the international level for his uh, persona of hard gay. But I would like to note that this was taped in 2016. Uh, this is well after Hardgate kind of started to retire his leather and he was making more appearances in regular clothes. So don't expect him to be shouting up FOO anytime soon. Next up, we got Mr. Sasuke, Yamada Katsumi. If you don't know what the Sasuke is, it's this huge, crazy obstacle course competition. Um, if you know what American Ninja Warrior is, American Ninja Warrior is a spin-off of the Sasuke. And yeah, uh, Mr. Sasuke here, he's competed in almost all of them, I believe. Uh, he's extremely devoted to training just for this event. So yeah, he is crazy strong. He's also appeared on Variety before, and he's a surprisingly good singer. So, hmm. Third, we got Kameda Daiki. He's a two-weight world champion boxer. Actually, the whole Kameda family uh, is into boxing. He has two other brothers. They're also pro boxers. Uh, yeah, really strong dude. Finally, we got Shoji Tomoharu. He's a comedian. He is known for being quite buff, but I guess when you're standing next to Mr. Sasuke, you just kind of look smaller. But yeah, he was known for being buff, and his wife is a former Morning Musume member, uh, Miki Fujimoto. So what Kendo Kobayashi has thought of is that they're going to compete in five events, and each event is going to have a mixed rule. I, again, mixed rule events, multi-sport kind of stuff. I think it's what Wednesday's Downtown does best, honestly, and they got some good stuff coming up. So yeah, um, first event is running karaoke. So for every 10 meters they run, they get like one karaoke point, and they'll also be singing while doing it, and at the end, uh, their karaoke score, which is again a maximum of 100, will be combined with that run score to give them their points. It doesn't sound so hard, but you, you should try it. Try singing while running. It's, <laughs> yeah, in the beginning it seems okay, but yeah, after two, three minutes, you're gonna be out of breath. And that's exactly what was happening here. I will note that uh, Kameda chose a Bees song, and if you know anything about Bees, uh, their songs have pretty long intros. So I think he got a free like 20 or 30 second intro where he could just focus on running. So he, he racked up a lot of points there. But at the end of it, um, actually it was Shoji who had the highest score. I'd like to note that um, for this segment, there were a lot of cuts. Like this first one only had clips of uh, Mr. Sasuke and Kameda. They didn't show any of HG or even Shoji who had the highest score. And I was wondering why they didn't show any of their clips. And I guess one reason could be that they just did something way too wild. Or maybe they didn't do anything and it was just too boring to show. And I guess maybe the third reason could be that, well, they picked a song and they couldn't get the copyright to uh, show it. Just a guess. Next event, bench press karaoke. Exactly as it sounds, they, they get one point for each bench press and then it's gonna be combined to their karaoke score. Shoji went first here, but he went way too fast with the bench presses. And after about a minute and a half or so, he had exhausted himself, and he could barely lift the bar. Kameda was next, and he learned from Shoji's mistake. He went really slow with the bench presses, but he had a different problem in that he didn't do enough bench presses. He went too slow and focused way too much on singing, getting a pretty low score. Mr. Sasuke executed this uh, perfectly, again, with the most bench presses and a really good singing voice. Uh, wow. <laughs> again, um... No clips from HG here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, is it, is it really a copyright issue or did he just behave too normally? I, I, I was really expecting to see more of him and he hasn't had a single part yet. Anyway, moving on. Here's the total scores. Again, uh, Mr. Sasuke in the lead, followed up by HG. Third event, 
gum tube karaoke. They're tied to a wall and they have to dash towards the microphone so that the microphone can pick up their voice. Uh, there's going to be no like athletic points. It's all based off of their karaoke score. It, it's going to be really hard to reach that microphone. Shoji went up first, um, singing one of Hamada's songs. I, I thought it was good song choice. It, it's a hard song to sing, so he's like, oh, I made the wrong decision here. But it, it's great to hear one of Hamada's songs. Uh, this would actually be the first event HG got any screen time, which was like 10 seconds or so is real short. I don't know, I guess without that outfit, he doesn't do really wild things, huh? The winner of this event would be Kameda, uh, and he was talking about how he used to, you know, practice with a sandbag, and somehow his boxing training was similar to this. I, I don't know how boxing training could be similar to this. Fourth event, rubber glove karaoke. <laughs> I don't see how this uh, involves sports anymore, but this is the kind of stuff that happens on the variety and unexpected, but greatly appreciated. I haven't seen anyone do this like rubber glove thing since like Howie Mandel. But yeah, so for each uh, rubber glove that they're able to pop, they get 20 points. And of course it has to be done while singing karaoke. Uh, extremely difficult thing to do. I mean, popping that glove just by itself is tough, but doing it while singing, you're gonna need a lot of timing uh, for your breath and Shoji was unable to time it very well. Uh, yeah, every time he had to sing, it would start to deflate, and he was unable to pop uh, even one. Mr. Sasuke, again, with unusual talent and really good timing for this, he was able to pop the glove and get a really good score singing. So here we are at the final round, and again, Mr. Sasuke in the lead. The closest person to him is uh, Razor Ramon HG. Again, real surprising. I I'm guessing HG's been doing pretty well in these events, but he hasn't been getting a lot of screen time, which leads me to believe he was just trying like, really seriously to win these events, uh, which is good but I guess wasn't good enough for the editor of Wednesday's Downtown, because most of his stuff has ended up on the cutting room floor. But anyway, a final event here, Wonko Soba Karaoke. Again, Wonko Soba is this tiny dish of soba. You just slurp it up real quickly, and you're supposed to eat it in rapid succession. And again, this is going to be done while singing. Each bowl counts for one point, and it's going to be combined with their karaoke score. After Mr. Sasuke downs 43 bowls and gets a really high score in karaoke, we can now determine how many points HG needs to get to win. In order for HG to win this, he has to eat 108 bowls of Wonko Soba and get a perfect score of karaoke. <laughs> it seems like an impossible task. But this this is HG's time to shine. He hasn't gotten any camera time so far, but this is it. He's finally gonna get his camera time. It's his opportunity. But seriously, 100 bowls of Wonko Soba? These guys aren't food fighters. I bet the food fighters that appear on Wednesdays downtown, they could do it, but uh, HG only got 46 bowls and the 79 in karaoke, which makes Mr. Sasuke the winner. But yeah, anyway, uh, Mr. Sasuke, amazing dude. Um, he's acquired such a unique set of skills over the years training for the Sasuke. It was really great to see him use his very unique skill set so well here. And yeah, that's about all I got for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this look into Wednesday's downtown. And yeah, have a glorious day.